Hello, welcome uh, everyone to the Retro Gaming Junction. This is Camilio. We're continuing our game of Arcanum. Steamwork of uh, Magico Obscura, I think. <laughs> that complete title. Half armor. Oh, yeah, that's why I wasn't sure if I would give him the armor. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, because it kind of sucks. And it must be extremely heavy on top of that. Yeah, we just picked up a power armor. I'm not even joking. I think you have it. Well, it says basic machine play, but it's it's a fucking power armor. I'm saying it's a power armor. It's a thousand stone. Oh my god. I don't see what's the use of this. Really. Unless... No, if you're tech savvy, you won't get bonuses on the AC. Maybe you do. Maybe you do get bonuses. I don't. Well, no, it would show it here. This guy would get bonuses. Well, you can't use this. But whatever. I have your armor. Here it is. You are most generous. Oh, didn't I ask for 250 last time? I said, fuck you, I don't... I think so. I think I can ask for more. <laughs> I decided to keep it. 250. You have yourself a deal. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think this was done. Can I open this? Village. Greetings. My name is uh, Kendrick Wales. Learned scholar and author. I'm Camilio. Might ask you a question? Certainly. What did you say your book was about, Kendrick? Well, I'm not really supposed to talk about it, but I can tell you that it's called The Curse of Tsen Ang and should be available for purchase any day now. I'm not one to sound my own virtues, but I must admit that it's a masterpiece, a true example of the scholarly pursuit. Can't you tell me anything about it, Kendrick? Sorry, old boy, I'm under contract, and I can't reveal anything at all about it. I'm sure you'll see it in all of the best bookstores any day now. You'll just have to wait for it. Farewell. Does everybody have boots? We have shoes, but I think everybody else has boots. Yes, it's in boots. I'm not sure you can use them. Nope. So we can use the shoes, but not the boots? No, we can use the boots. Yeah, that's where we did the whole speech and everybody was happy. Okay, so I was almost done with this. Why did I end the stream so early? Well, not early, but why didn't I just finish this one? Before going there,
Okay, let's go to that castle. Pass through passage. Whoa, but what is this? What is this place? They must have talked about it in my. Uh, Kendrick Wells, local author, is writing a book. Book he won't tell us about it. Rumor is that William Thorne wrote is quite a strange character. Rumor has it that there's something strange at those coordinates. Rumor has it that Theo Brightstar has great throwing skills. Rumor has it that there are some old ruins to the northwest of Ashbury over the Grey Mountains. The ruins are proposed to be contain an altar made of solid gold. Mysterious ancient shipwreck. Zombies in the graveyard. Nobody knows why. A snobby wizard loitering in front of the cemetery. This castle is supposed to be haunted. Okay, so it's haunted. That's all they, they have. Okay, should I go in there? Let's, let's wait on this. We're going to come back here, I'm sure. You don't need to do everything. That's what I used to do. Like do everything before before doing something else. But doing like, continuing to, to another town. But no. But we are going to check with that wizard. Maybe he's gonna have a mission for us. In front of the cemetery. I did this right. I checked all these. It says villager. Oh, it's because she's only a villager. Yeah, this guy's gonna tell us what to do with this. <laughs> He's gonna tell us what this area is all about. Then we have the pigs. That, oh God, I keep pressing escape to get out of the screen. What do you want? Oh, you have a voice. My name is Jeffrey Tarlon Dash, and who, might I ask, are you? I'm Camillo. What are you doing here? I'm tending to my own business. That's what I'm doing. I swear the manners of the peasantry. I'm sorry. Perhaps I didn't hear you correctly. I'll draw. I would almost think you possess a, a sense of humor. <laughs> Perhaps you're not as ignorant and as bland as you look, stranger. You've at least the brain power to conceive an amusing response. Nicely done. You've not the barbarian upbringing I expected. So maybe you needed some intelligence to even have access to that response. What is your background, Jeffrey? Mine? <laughs> Oh, the usual, raised in Caledon, schooled in Tarant, summers off the coast of Catan. I'm of the Fallsburg, Tarlon Dashes, if you know that sort of thing. I spent a few years in Tula among the old wizards. Bloody boring bunch of old codgers. Which codge of magic did you study? Oh, I dabbled in the necromantic arts, mainly on the darker side. A little of this and that. 
I've a job waiting for me in Tarant with one of the newer mage consortiums. If I've ever a mind to go there. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Ashbury has a problem with its cemetery. Seems they've got bloody zombies just sprouting up from the ground every night, and nobody knows why. <laughs> I just happened to be traveling through here on my way back to Caledon, and I thought I'd look into the matter. What do you think the problem is? Well, just between you and I, there's quite a famous individual buried here in the Ashbury graveyard. A fellow by the name of Malachi Wrench was quite a necromancer in his time. Wrote a few controversial texts and uh, that sort of thing. But if he's dead... Yes, 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 yes. I'm getting to that. I think the old chap was buried with something... something powerful. And whatever it is, finally got out. And now, every dead John and Barry in this town is coming back to dinner. <laughs> uh, quite a good story, if that's your cup of tea. And so... And so... And so, I want whatever the hell is down no there. And I plan on finding out just as soon as I can figure out a way to get rid of these bloody zombies. Assistance? Yes. Yes, you just might be useful after all. I'd be willing to offer you 500 gold pieces for whatever is raising these zombies. Done. I'll return when I found it. Perhaps we could work together on this. Sorry, old boy, but you're a bit too noble for Geoffrey Terrellon Dash. I see this, yeah, I... Was uh, there I, anything else? I was... I was not... Uh, I'm not surprised at that. I'll accept your proposal every time when I found the object. Or not. <laughs> Because I can't spell. Hmm. What brings you? Yes. Well, I was trying to find a problem, but it's because it's slash, shout out, uh, but the one I made, like my commands, they are exclamation point something. Anyway. Let's, let's kill these fuckers. Well, we just, we just say. No, you cannot see the target. Oh, apparently I can't see that target. Oh well. there immediately okay ah, these zombies on ah, that okay they keep coming back <laughs> oh that's a good place to uh, level up I guess hmm maybe I shouldn't deal with these fuckers right now hmm well let's go into real time and go around this place love is your spirit in the sun yeah, we'll have to enter. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come back here when we have like a bigger, a bigger troop of people to level up. <laughs> I think we're ready to do uh, to pass the Black Mountain. Back to Tarant. Oh, yeah, we're gonna stop to Tarant first. Boom, anyway, it's in the way. It's right there. Ancient Temple. Oh, yeah, and there's also the shipwreck. 
Yeah, they told us about this temple here. Okay, so we're gonna yeah, we're gonna find the shipwreck. It's around here. There you go. Okay, so I have no idea what this is. Can't, uh, there's no map for this place. Let's look around. Nothing here. Let's go back. Can't do anything with this yet. Okay, we'll come back to this later. Let's uh, take a look at this ancient temple. Be sorry. Yeah, fuck this. This is worth ten, and it's very rare that people take this. Just because these guys keep attacking us, uh, we'll have so much money once we get to uh, Tara. Like again, you saw it wasn't going straight there. <laughs> There's nothing. No, no, this one. What's this guy do? What? What? Why did fucking Sog... He just ran off the screen?
Okay, so a little entrance there. Usually these dungeons are pretty small. Should we just do it? Temple. Music's broken, but maybe not. I'm just gonna restart the game just in case. There's no music here. Let's switch to turn base. I'll check these skeletons out. Tatar Bowman, level 12. Okay, they're exactly at my level. Well, no, I'm level 15 now. Okay, so this is not like completely out of our league. Take everything. Yeah, I need to uh, dump some stuff on you. Oof, maybe not. You have some strength. See much. It's a less of a sort of skeleton level three. Oh, I just leveled up. Library. I really, I really enjoyed to replay this since watching Tim King's YouTube vlog. But did you know about the game beforehand? Yeah, I'm watching Tim Kane every morning. <laughs> and this is not the reason I'm playing this game. This was a game I wanted to play for a little while. I wanted to slip it in the Ultima mode. In between uh, some of the Ultima games. an amazing game like I remember it being good but like I, I can really appreciate it more now that I, I can I'm a more mature person but also a more mature gamer where I've played a lot of games and there's some things that uh, as time goes by I it, it, it annoys me more or things that I think should be should have been because they're these are old games but like sometimes I play newer games and I, this should be like this fuck this come on
Speaker of Evil. Okay, I'm not sure I want to enter this. Level 20, this guy. Just level up. Um, level up. One point. One point. One point. Well, I said I wanted more intelligence. Yeah, let's put this at sixty. So it says limiting factor in the learning of spells and technological skills. And Tim Kaine actually said that he looked at the code. He didn't specify, which I'm really kind of like pissed. Or maybe I should ask him. Uh, he doesn't seem to answer questions. But like he said that intelligence did factor in the spell. But he didn't say, ow. And I was like, what? No. And then he went on to talk about willpower. And I was like, wait, 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 wait what? when how learning spells you can just click on the fucking buttons and these spells only need willpower none of them i looked at all of them maybe some schools could have been intelligence nope it's all willpower minimum willpower 18 18 willpower willpower so i thought maybe it's like the damage but no the damage or the effectiveness of your spell is completely calculated by this well according to the internet tim didn't say anything about that okay save before entering and uh, well let's just attack one of them i can't i won't see him i, I won't see him okay open the door let's go into uh, Turn base, open the door. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. turn base? What the fuck? Maybe I can talk to these guys? Turn base, motherfucker! Oh my god, I'm dead. Ugh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Oh wow, thank you. I need to move. It's my turn, but I can't move. I'm stuck here. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my. God. to put on turn base before entering combat. Are we in turn base now? Are we in turn base now? Who knows? Turn base, motherfucker. No? God damn it, turn base, motherfucker. I don't get it. Oh, I'm not even in combat. Okay, combat. Okay, not turn base, turn base. Okay. Well, let's st stay in combat mode. Open up the door. No, end the turn. Open the door. It's locked. I can only enter it in non-combat mode. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Remove combat. End combat. I'm under attack. Okay. I'll open this then. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Wow, that move. No, I'm staying here. Yeah, I think I'm a little under level to tackle this. A little. This guy is gonna kick our ass. No, I'm not doing anything. There you go. I can try to do this on him. No, no. no. There you go. Who's 
just moving if it's not them? Some other people somewhere else on the dungeon? What's going on here? Is this a glitch? Okay, let's go real time then. Real time. Turn base. <laughs> this guy is alone. Ah, fuck it, let's go real time. been wounded terribly! Quickly! I need healing! Oh shit, I'm on the ground. Okay, we did it! Good job! So what do we have here? Some scrolls, are they picking them up? No. Scroll of Undead, Scroll of Quench Life, Scroll of Dominate Will. Maybe you need a certain intelligence to read these scrolls. Yeah, that. I, yeah, definitely that. Oh my God! Whoa! Pick up everything here, Sapphire. Good stuff. Oh, you need the best stuff. Yeah, this is shit. Take the, oh, this is magical. Hey, he doesn't have a sword. Oh, did it break? These swords keep breaking and I don't even realize it. Like, how can that happen? Shouldn't there be like a super big pop up that says sword broken? No, that's what he had, didn't he? Oh well, I'm gonna give him this. Yeah, I need to go to Tarant and get my stuff fixed. Another magical element. Can you take it? Yeah. This was all this was also magical. Just a fine element. Oh, you might not be able to put one on. Yeah, okay. So, that's it. <coughs> Unless you have something on you. Did I open all of these? Or did I open this one? I'm a little bit encumbered. Hey, what about?
about that two-handed sword? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I left it there because I couldn't carry it. This is so slow. I don't want this necessarily. Oh shit, he took it. You're crazy, and it needs 20 strength to be usable in one hand. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. want to give it to him. If I put it there, he's gonna take it. <sighs> yeah, he wants it. I can even use it one and then. This guy's at 20 strength now? Holy crap! Holy shit! Yeah, there's another bonus at 20, like her, his damage is doubled, I think his, his bonus. Damage bonus 20, yeah, I think this is just doubled right now. He's already at 20, damage bonus 1, yeah, as you can, it's 20. So this guy would be better with a weapon that hits more often than this but whatever I mean we, we just destroy at this point okay take my stuff I have too much stuff well there was a lot of cool stuff in here very magical place if I was more tech oriented and there's more um, I would think it's kind of shitty because everything is magic oh my god what the fuck oh, we, we need to turn into it we need to go into turn base yeah the arrows are somebody died somebody just died right there boom he just died what the fuck That traps. Seventeen and he died. That's weird. He wasn't that close to dying. What the fuck? Okay, we're not going there. We need to come back here eventually. We also did not go down there. What the fuck is this? I'm dead. And I just exited the game. Uh, you know what? Let's come back here later. No, no, no.
wait, wait, forbidden pit. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Check if there was some things that are added. Uh, so yeah, they talked about the ancient temple, but they also talk about another ruin that is past these mountains. They must be just just right past the mountains, because goddamn it, so far after that. Okay, so I'm gonna go sell some stuff I need to wait for the morning. Okay, you take a lot of stuff, I have nothing. I'm gonna keep those clothes just in case. I think this guy buy axes or, or swords. Quality sword. Let's try both. Takes the sword, but not the quality sword. And he doesn't want the axe. I don't think he buys these things. Does everybody add a shield? So this the shield here we can sell that. Different. This is guard leather. Let's keep it. Another uh, just normal sword. What is getting points in? Maybe health? Oh! Featherweight axe. Dwarven technologists often supply us 
the most innovative and useful item. The ultralight axe is no exception. Through combining dwarven ore in a common oak axe handle, an axe is created with only half the weight of a common axe. Maiming and decapitations have never been easier. So dwarven ore? Which I think I have one of those. And this. I don't know why there's a 25 there, but I just ignore it. It's always been fine. <laughs> I think this is yellow to say that I have one of these, but not the other. I don't think I've ever seen this. Uh, let's go identify some things. Yes. Lars Mandel, how's it going? Yes, I'm enjoying it very, very much. I'm going pretty well. Yeah, this game is great. It's a little slow. If you like excitement and like things that go boom and woo -hoo -hoo, no, no. <laughs> yeah, depressing music and. Uh, it's all about the ambience, but yeah, it's it is what it is. Shadowing robes. It had to be fifty stones because I'm interested. Oh, it's more prowling. I need to find some kind of magical armor that weighs nothing. <laughs> That's my quest in the game, because I have no strength. Okay, let's uh, identify some stuff. anything to identify here. It's all on you guys. Oh, he doesn't have anything magical on him, of course. Or something happened when I did that. Okay. This is a chill shield. It's not good. Fuck. DR, ER, FR, MR, PR plus 20. Strength, dexterity, willpower minus 3. Oh. Mystical greatsword plus 12 damage plus 12 fatigue damage mana 16. This is mana, right? I don't know what this is. Mando. I don't know what that means. Let's give it to you just because I want to. Then you can use it with one hand. I just try it. 
Do you want to buy this uh, curse shield? No. No. You don't? Oh, we didn't identify, identify the element. Mystic element. Plus 8 AC, plus 6 damage resistance. Uh, which needs it the most? I don't know. You already have some magical element, no? Or well, somebody else has it, I think. This is plus 15, this is 3 plus 15, so it's 18, this one is 18 too, but more damage resistance. So I think this is better. Is it? Do you think it's better? Yeah, he thinks it's better. Dumbass. Ah, oh, just remember that he has it on. This was slowing me a bit. district? No, I want the entrance. This? Yeah. Maybe some guys here. Magical armory that might buy that. I've been able to sell a lot of the cursed stuff for good money also. I don't even know how much money I have, but I think I have a lot. 4,000. Okay, I thought it would be more. Yeah, 400 coins for this. Boom. Chain mail. Shield of force. 2,000 2, bucks. 1,000 bucks for a small studded leather. An elven chain mail. Oh, that's nice. For 1,300. Uh, dragon skin leather. But not as good as this, because it's like AC 9, damage resistance 16 plus 10, so 26, but this is 23, AC 14. The R energy resistance and NP is. Noise. It's the noise, I think. So for me, it's not a big deal. I 
That's pretty cheap, this anvil chain mail. AC 14. Like if I give it to you. AC 10. Yeah, it's gonna be for him. Because he needs it the most. This this guy would benefit more, but I don't care. Uh, let's say before, just in case, you, for some reason you can't use it. He likes it. 350. So it's it's lighter than this. Certainly better. And what do you look like in that? Oh, he's he's here. Oh, he's different. Okay. See if you have some stuff that would be interesting to buy. Venom shielded garment that is twenty stone, AC four, AC six, but it's twenty stone instead of fifty. I like it. Dr plus ten this. And this is DR plus five. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I can I can find better, but this is the type of thing I'm looking for. Garments. Twenty. It's the lightest garment I've ever seen in the game. Yeah, mage's dagger. That's what I should have. Like a little light. A light thing. Maybe also this is too much. What about like normal boots? How heavy are those? It's the same thing. That's why I have the best because I need it. Okay, let's uh, unload some of the stuff and go to Black Mountain. Black Mountain Clan. doing okay do I have um, an endo dwarven ore so let's pick up two at least two of those if not three it's a hundred stone each let's go with two no, we don't have any handles. I'm gonna just stop by the blacksmith. See, maybe he has some. Okay, so for now, let's unload all of these old things. Nitroglycerine. I don't think I'll need this anymore. Or the bullets. I keep those. Let's keep the studded leather if you find somebody that needs it. Uh, this is only weight. This is only weighs one. Even though it's kind of useless. Oh, we have another one of these. Of tried selling these. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, these are ten stone each. No, 
a coin. I don't know exactly what these are. Skin thickening. Sure, you're not gonna use them. No, not this. Why do I have that? Um, no, we are keeping the arrows. You likely encounter. Let's give your stuff to other people. What's so fucking heavy? Holy crap! Hmm. Maybe I should give you a smaller shield than this. Eighty stone, hundred stone, eighty stone, ninety stone. Oh, shit, this is unidentified stuff. So this guy, even with, he has 9 strength I think, which is not great, but he can't really have any type of armor, and this is somewhat, like this is not heavy stuff that he has on right now, and he's still lightly encumbered. This is one, 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 five. Yeah, so you're gonna be the guy who has our request items. I don't think this weighs anything. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I just wanted to step in front of the blacksmith, which is right here. Quality armor. This is always nice. Cues and gadgets.
No, he doesn't want to buy this. He doesn't want to buy the fancy ring or the ruby ring. He wants to buy the sapphire. That's it. And no, he doesn't have anything interesting to buy. Yeah, let's go there, but let's pass like near, near this, like that. You're a fool. You're gonna die. Oh, oh wow! What's going on? Did we do that? Who the fuck did that? Dante? This guy has major healing now. <laughs> I don't know what was that or whatever. Two of them? I will simply leave. I do not have two hundred coins. something break here? I heard a weird sound that I did not like at all. I forgot to repair my stuff before going away. God damn it. And we need to repair our stuff. We need to, we need to go back. I'm sorry. Well, let's just reload instead. Uh, the blacksmith, I guess. I'm not sure he's gonna reload my... Uh... He's gonna repair my magical stuff? It's gonna be super expensive. Repair. Fix something. For example, this is five coins. Okay, it's extremely cheap. Okay, but everybody needs to give me their inventory, which is quite annoying, but hey, 40, you're, you're fine. 
Your sword is fine. This 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 is fine. fine. Where's the amulet that I didn't? Yeah, this thing. I need to identify that as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah, this too. This, whatever. <laughs> this part will not break for a little while. Hundred bucks, three, five, ten, twenty-three, fourteen. Well worth it. So you will. It's this. You. It's nothing. You're also good. Mountain for real this time. Okay, we know there was nothing there, so let's go here instead. And then like that, like that. Go! Oh yeah, the art is so good. Some of the castles or like old ruins, oh my god. The trains, the trains are amazing. One of the most, literally one of the most beautiful trains I've ever seen. In anything, any art. It's just, it's the perfect train it's like it's not realistic it's a little stylized but it fits so well it looks like a train whoa I just slipped there that was funny like it's the perfect Perfect art for for this style of industrial age thingy. Uh, black, black mountain. So the last time we came in here, we got our ass kicked, but we were level five, and we definitely did not have all the items that we have. We were not equipped at all, and. Um, we had like two less guys. Yeah, we only had these three. Really? That is definitely possible. So I can go down here. Yeah, we. Oh. No, we can't go there. Yeah, we did all this before. Dwarven chest. It's right here. I left out some stuff here. Apparently, I left some stuff here. I don't know why. 
Uh, yeah, it's just past this. Maybe just... Yeah, it's just right there. This guy here. We don't need this. Okay. Tough guy. So this guy... Um, hurts our weapons. I wonder if we, we should just drop our weapons on the floor. We'll see what one shot, because there's a multiple of these guys. Um, and if we go into turn base mode immediately, maybe I can arm him from afar. Why did he just teleport there? That was weird. No, I've never played Nidukuni, but uh, it looks kind of nice. But it's the, the art style, and it's not really my style. Like this is more like the Nidukuni, and this is like complete opposite in terms of uh, of the style. Yeah, I like I like the grit. I like the gritty stuff. Weapon damage. Weapon damage. Weapon damage 66 times. guy's actually not even hitting him. Oh. Oh my god. Magnus? Oh no, okay. Ogre. Oh, he's almost done. <laughs> Finally he, he hit it. Well, I don't think this sword is good for him. I don't think this is good for him. This, if this is the Philemon sword, that means that this guy didn't have any sword. Okay, so what's the situation here? 71 out of 80. Okay, that's not too bad. 118 out of 120. 67 out of 99. Oh, each time you repair it, it loses a little bit of the maximum. Okay, so it's really not that bad. this game a go might be time for a new playthrough ah! oh yeah definitely it's a long game so be prepared you need to like it's it's an RPG you chill out you you play and like <laughs> ah! it's not Final Fantasy let's just say that That was 20 damage, but he only was able to hit them. To, like, wow! There you go. That's, that's, that's amazing. They can build me. Oh, Dave, how's it going? Let's uh, let's wait an hour. Oh, we can't wait here. Ways here. So there was only one of these guys. I thought there was more. Huh, it was just like a little kind of a, a, a spot check. Are you? Can you proceed? <laughs> Ouch! A bunch of parts. Geode. Yes, sir. What would you? Oh, I think you picked it up. No, no. 
Oh, you guys have stuff on you. That's actually annoying. Like that. They have like daggers and. Uh, and arrows and bows. Money's good, money's good. I like money. Cut sapphire, a pocket watch parts. Puts the ring on, it's a little annoying. Oh, another one like that. Critical hit. Wow. Did he like. Like two critical hits from fucking song, <laughs> dude. You, you rock. I don't know how much damage it did, but it did the trick. They have nothing on them, right? talk to you how can I help you what do you need to know Spice. the Black Mountain clan oh they're quite a famous clan I'd uh, tell you more but uh, dwarves don't talk about other clans when they're not around uh, you know dwarven tradition sorry I can't say more Oh. Uh, I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Ah, uh, you seem fine. <laughs> Fifty six. Yeah, it's starting to hurt. I need to throw some magic on this guy. Wow. 
what the fuck is this? A rock rat. Okay. I should have not moved. Okay. Wow, that did nothing. Level twenty five or golden. Seems a little more difficult than the other ones. I'm not sure the other ones were all golden now. Oh yeah! I don't know what happened, but I mean, he got damaged even though he, I think he critically missed or some shit. He dropped his weapon. Oh my god, Virgil! Yeah! Fine. That's not fine. Your weapon has been destroyed. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna remove the weapons of everybody. It's gonna be much tougher, but I don't want to lose these weapons. Or golem, yeah, or golem. Um, I need to put them in something, or else they will just pick them up. So we need a chest, any chest, any chest will do, with this one. Okay, I need to remember that I'm putting my, my things in there. Oh, you can, if, if you want to use the kite sword, go right for it, I don't care. This guy here might actually be a little tough. This little rat. I don't know. Remove all the weapons. We'll see how that goes. There you go, it's not that bad. Let's go turn base. Oh no, no, what the fuck? I was sure. Oh, God damn it. I'm just going to leave it in my inventory. guys oh my god weapon damage oh the the kite sword <laughs> okay i need to move on i'm gonna die Leave me alone. Okay, let's go real time. 
Please help me. Okay, he's down, but Virgil's down. Yeah. Engine muffler. <laughs> oh my god, what can you make in this game with a fucking car? Virgil's down, Dante's down. Swords back. Yeah. Oh, that thing broke. Should use the balance sword. I know it's sixty fire. Uh, anything that's below fifty, I should just switch to something else. Forty-seven. Well, he has a backup. One twelve. That's fine. Anyway, we have we have backup weapons. If there's a problem. More strength than a lot of the other characters, right? Twelve. Yeah, he has good strength. He's a, pretty much the best character I have is Dante. In terms of his, his balance, um, he has great, great strength, good dexterity, and um, good spells. Dodge melee is high. Like if compared to Virgil, I don't know what the fuck's his problem, but his strength is shitty. Dex melee isn't as good. Dodge melee is, is not as good. Um, he doesn't have as many spells. Uh, heal is there, and I think his heal is higher. He might be higher level, maybe. Uh, he has no heal. Okay, well, like that makes the difference. Okay, we're going to continue to explore this dungeon, but I'm going to take a little break. Uh, Black Mountain 2. Yeah, let's, let's pause the game. Can we get, this doesn't pause the game. When I talk to someone, it pauses the game. <laughs> okay, I'll be back.
Ever since Freddie Farkas set up his pharmacy in the post-gold rush town of Coors Gold, California, he's kept a rather low profile. Mind the store, won't you, Srini? I'm off to uphold justice and stuff. But as a strange onslaught of trouble gallops into town, it's up to Freddy to save Coarse Gold from disaster and desertion by bringing his secret gunslinging past out of the closet. I've got to dredge up my ugly past, dust it off, fluff it up, and put it on again. Experience Freddy Farkas, frontier pharmacist, as it was meant to be, on CD-ROM, with full multimedia voice, sound, and musical score. We're back. So it's a weird invisible tiger or something that appeared. Like a phantom, like a summon, summon animal? Can somebody heal Mr. Magnus? Damn it. Uh, yeah, take this. I should take the bows because they're worth about a hundred or two hundred bucks each. Level up, you get XP in this game by doing all sorts of things. It's mostly the fastest way to aim to earn XP is to hit uh, enemies. And by doing what I'm doing, I'm not hitting anything. Um, I do think that this still goes up. Ow! But I don't. I don't care. We'll we'll hit that level 50 way before the end of the game. Level 50 is the max level, and I could have uncapped it, but I decided against it. What the fuck is this? Armor damage, of course. Everything's gonna be damaged. Oh my god. This is where you learn about damage things. I need to, to do it. Oh my god. Seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. 
please help me, please help me. Oh, he's almost dead. Go, you can do it. Oh, good job, Dante. I think it's, that's Dante. You're dead. Let's go, real time. Okay, what happened? 61. Okay. Okay, that's fine here. 27. Okay, this weapon is breaking apart. Yeah, I should change it immediately. Take the other one. Yeah. What about you? Oh. We're good. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, he picked it up. Okay, let's look at the map. Cool. Exiting, scroll of sense invisible, and a note. Search for the target, the target in the abandoned mines of the Black Mountain Clan. Any failures like those in Shrouded Hills, I'm the target, will be met with the most severe punishment. GL. That better. AC nine DR fourteen, AC nine DR fifteen. It's like barely better. Oh, what the fuck is this? Okay, well, before entering that, what seems to be pretty much the end of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I don't know, there's more stuff here. Oh, I don't know. How do we go there now? Fuck it, okay, let's go. Let's go there first. It's a rock sprite, so this will attack. This is an ore sprite, it's not an ore golem. Wow. Thirty-one. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we'll have to remove their weapons the next time we attack these things. Let's 
goes further down. F or thief. Oh shit. That's fine. This is a hundred. Maybe I should put it on Virgil. And I guess I can give you the other weapons because you're gonna keep the one you have. Level up. I almost want to put one point into a uh, minor uni. It's annoying me that uh, I don't have a control on who, who gets healed. anyway so yeah. another no that says kill this fucker large guard leather Unless I want to sell it. Fuck these nodes. Search for the target. Search for the target. Oh, wow. This is a big dungeon. How do we get here? I guess when I was here, I didn't finish exploring there. 
Wow, let's see you try. Okay, let's finish this here. Ah. Woo, I feel lighter. Okay, another one of these guys. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. can take that, it's fine. You can actually keep this. a usefulness to these two uh, big two-ended swords no they're not as fast but at least they don't break open up the door proceed to get killed ah oh, come on Can't see him. Oh, fuck off. Nobody's attacking him. Oh. My armor was damaged. We need to go real time, man. We need to go real time. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to go real time and run around him. Ugh. I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. There you go. I was all going to turn base, but. Pyrotechnic bow. Sure, some good stuff in there. Unidentified armor, lantern, eye gear. Hmm. Plus two perception. Ooh. That's kind of nice. 
But it must take the place of this. Right? So it's kind of meh. Chance of critical failure plus twenty five percent. Is that good? Or is that bad? Machined gauntlets. The guy here has pretty good gauntlets. Mysterious dwarven gauntlets. AC3. That's kind of shitty. AC5. DR plus 7. Damage plus 15 if you go into end to end. Which we might. Or is it always damage? It's damage plus 15. Do you prefer those? You do? But this could be given to somebody else. What are you doing? Those are mine! My grandfather gave me those! They're my only... <laughs> of course. Thank you, Outlanders. Never any respect for another dwarf's property. I didn't like that. His reaction went down. <laughs> ah, whatever. There must be a spell that uh, modifies the reaction. So I could do that before talking to people. Like in Morrowind. It really feels like a... People say, oh, this is a mix of uh, Baldur's Gate and Fallout. I don't see any Baldur's Gate here. I don't know where they get this. Because it's real time? I don't know. This feels Fallout because of just the isometric style, the way you control your characters, you don't. You have one character and these are your companions. This is not a team like in Baldur's Gate. Um, so that's the Fallout part. And it is very much Morrowind in terms of the way that um, when you talk to people, they have their live reaction that is right there. If they get pissed off at you, they will attack you. If they like you, they like you. They'll get better deals and they, they might unlock missions and stuff like that. Um, it's a simple thing that I haven't seen many games do that. Like this game, Morrowind, and maybe some others, but that's it. Because if you do that, yeah, you might... You might piss off the wrong people, blah, 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 blah. You will definitely... You could break the game. But it makes it extremely interesting. I don't know, we've been here. So we have to go all around this. Go back there, go there, yeah. They didn't waste any fucking centimeter in this map. Like, this map is, is packed. Wow! I didn't realize how big it was. So, did I give their inventory back? No. Right? I left the stuff in the fucking... It's all the way back there. I have a save just afterwards, right? But this was here. Yeah, we need to go there. That's my stuff. This one, or yeah, this one. Uh, you have your big sword. This one. I don't know this. Andy on the 
sana. Speed fire. It's kind of shitty, but it won't it won't break easily. Okay, let's save here and set in case there's absolutely nothing. I don't think I don't think there's gonna be nothing. This is where I didn't go. Oh my god. There was nothing. <laughs> there was nothing. Shitting me, that's it. Yeah, I just didn't go up there. So now, I think we've done the whole thing. We can now defend, descend even further. Yeah, I can just click here. He's gonna go there. Are you? Nope. Ah, oh, come on. Oh no, okay. So yeah, what's these things? What's this? Oh my god. I wonder if you can blow this up with grin uh, with dynamite. Let's see. You have dynamite. 
I have no idea how to use this. Uh, I just right click it. Is, is that it? I right clicked it. Is it like in my hand or no? Oh, something blew up. No. Search for the target. Oh, I can't put stuff on him if he doesn't have anything. Fuck it. Lock pistol. Seems we're done with the fucking uh, or sprite or golems. Stupid? The fuck's your problem? Are you gonna put these on? No. You guys really like this. Okay. I have to keep them then. I just opened this, right?
Man, they're not cheap in these the in this game. The dungeons contain a lot of stuff. No, it's not always super useful, but it still feels rewarding. It always feels like, oh yeah, this is this is cool. Or just a little bit of money. Uh, yeah, I don't need this, but they're, they're gonna pick it up anyway. Things are tough. Crap. No, don't give him that. Here. Can barely keep up with the healing. Um, and there's no enemies here.
It's stupid because if you can't wait like that, but you could just leave the game waiting like that and they're gonna heal themselves and go make a coffee, come back, and it's just it's a little stupid. Why can't you do this instead? Oh, because it's too convenient? <laughs> okay. Wait in front of the spider. Nope. Oh my god, and this is a dead end. It looks like a dead end. One gold. Is it always like this? I just never realize it. And I just died. for one one coin oh my god I think this is it this is it I can't type to sir I believe I am mortally wounded Perhaps retreat would be a viable option at this juncture. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, what would you have? This guy. He only has nine intelligence, but he's like, he talks like he's super, he's a fucking genius. Five coins. This pillar is obviously Dwarven Origins. Its front is covered with roughly hewn writing that does not appear to be a part of the pillar's original design. And the lone old Dwarven dude. 
Why have you come? I will not go. I spit on the judgment of the Wheel Clan. Elven pawns. Hey, it's eight now. Why have you come? Okay, I spit on the judgment of the Will Clan. Elven Pons. It comes to this, it does. I'm ashamed for myself and my kind, I say. I don't understand. I'm here to find the Black Mountain Clan. I have come to judge you harshly. I don't need the rambling of a crazed woman. I've come for the Black Mountain Clan. Betrayal it was, myself, the Clan of the Wheel. Betrayers all sent to despair without hope for return. It was. Stenar and the boy, Stenar and Bates. Okay, there you go. So Stenar was the guy in the uh, that said uh, the boy. You need the boy. The boy is Bates, but now he's not the boy anymore. We all paid the burden of shame. Who are you? Gudman or Bender of the Mountains Black. I am shamed, betrayer. But not. I did what must be done. I alone stood for the right. Yours is not to judge. Mine is the harshest judgment of all. Where is your clan? Gone, gone to their despair. An island of death and hate. The unholy place of judgment. I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. Gaze upon the pillar of truth for your answers. Too long has my mind been consumed with my traps and those waiting for me to slip and show weakness. They are here, you know, waiting, hiding in the shadows. So you have been down here for... So you have been down here 70 years, laying traps and waiting? The pillars of truth. Let's go with this first. My traps keep me safe. Our own must be protected to the end of days. No good day, no. No good day. Who paid? Where's your clan? Speak up. Don't understand. Pillar of truth? The day of judgment was the day I began to carve the pillar. All that is to be known is there. My mind is no longer my mind no longer holds the truth correctly. Why don't you leave this place? My traps keep me safe. Okay. Oh, okay. Stedoy the boy and steam brought the judgment down from our eye from, our, from an eye brought elves the mountain black a more shameful day never have they seen I am not proud as I set this down but it must be known I Gudmund or Bender have rejected the judgment of the wheel clan the management of the Black Mountain Clan to the Isle of Despair for crimes against the Dwarven world, namely, a sharing of technology with the humans, is a more grave an offense than that which is which it purports to avenge. I commit to stone my judgment on Long Air and his clan, blinded in their madness to the extent that would allow the elves to force their end. The day the elves came, led by the warrior's betrayer, by the warrior betrayers of the wheel, was the day my destiny was writ upon the stone. Good moon or bender would never be banished by the end of an elf, no matter what untrue judgment of guilt were ended down. The voice of reason, usually so clearly heard by the dwarven kind, was shunned when it cried out the, to drive the human from our ancestral home. The Bates child sold the dwarven birthright to the world, as was he the charge of Stenar. So must be the guilt. This day shall be remembered for all the days of the Orbender, when the proudest of clans may be forced as sheep into a circle of banishment created by lowly elves. While warriors stand and do not, the Orbender must reject all that his dwarven, bone, that his dwarven bones will aim to do. As they must be owned to stay and make record of this, the most evil of days. I scream for my brothers to fight the unfair judgment of the clan of, of, of all clans. I scream at them still. Let's talk to you. How can I help you? What do you need to know? 
The Black Mountain Clan? How can I help you? What do you need to know? The Pillar of Truth within Black Mountain Clan's minds tell the story of their banishment to the Isle of Despair for allowing technology to spread to the humans, principally because of Gilbert Bates and his steam engine. Strangely, it seems elves were there to effect the banishment with the cooperation of the Wheel Clan. Huh. It's all a big conspiracy. Look for the Black Mountain Clan on the Isle of Despair. Accepted. Jeffrey asked me to come and resolve the mystery of the Ashburn Cemetery. Yeah, okay. time we talked everybody healed up <laughs> that's nice there's some traps everywhere yeah I read that the spotting skill spot trap skill isn't that useful but I don't know there's a lot of traps in this game I think there's a spell to see them and to remove them, maybe. Is everybody there? Yeah. Yeah, mushroom, mushroom, uh, witch bane. I'm not sure I want to pick up all these things. What sort of weapon do you have? Thief. 
Yeah, this is this is a bit weird. Sometimes it just stands like that. I don't know if it's trying to move every single enemies on this map or what. Wow. Must be able to be repaired. <sighs> oh, fuck. We have so much crap. Information for for baits. God damn it! Sure, I'll do it right away. Come here. Characters want to move. 
I'm now stuck here in the door. None of my characters want to move past this for some fucked up reason. Oh, that's my back. Under attack right now, we're under attack right now. We're under attack. Apparently we're under attack right now. Okay. Are we under attack right now? Wow. God five, man. What the fuck? Why couldn't I sleep here? Why? Explain this to me, game. Explain why I cannot use this fucking bed. Get there. Oh, oh yeah, I know. I'm gonna level up again. That's 5,000 right now, okay, okay. Oh, I couldn't see him for some reason. Even though, I don't know, I <laughs> shouldn't have been able to see him. Yes, I know, I killed the target. Target. 
call it um, mental and then it's a what the fuck is that? Ouch. Yeah, power axe. I remember that. I think it's pretty good. Speed 8. Aptitude adjustment. No, it's not that great. Elm. Are you like that? Oh yeah, I remember everybody wanted this fucking axe. That I remember that. Thank you, you want an axe too? Well, I think it's better than this. Well, we don't exactly know what this does. Stop putting on the rings. A friend! I've been wounded terribly! Quickly! I need healing! I keep pressing this to get to the like pause, but pause is the space bar. Switch between real time and turn base. This accessory kicks you out of an entire game. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. Looking at you, fences for fences for. Yeah. I, I just I just died just like that. Traps everywhere here. So this was the farthest door. When there was three. Oh my. Okay, we're back here. Okay. So this is a very very tough fight. This is a very tough fight. It's easier, I think, to. Uh... Oh. oh, yeah, all these people that have money. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, we're at 
eight now. Whatever that means. Oh, wow. We don't have to kill them. It feels like this should be removed. Maybe once we get to Gilbert Bates, they're gonna remove it. Because now if I want to exit, I need to go all around again. Squish that cat. This one is super dangerous. We need to go turn base. A friend! I've been wounded terribly! Quickly! I need healing! I'll heal you. Uh, I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Yeah, I don't think I can uh, I can tackle these things now. Well, she tolerates it. I don't I don't think she likes it. It's a cat. And like 5 seconds later, she doesn't even remember that I wake woke her up. <laughs> and if I rub her belly, her belly, her, her belly long enough, uh, she's, she's fine with anything. Okay, so we'll wa walk back to, um, because I think, and report back to Bates. So I think we have all the information we need, and we can go back to Bates, I hope so, um, but I think I'll end the stream here. Just uh, back to Bates. Okay, I cannot do this. I can't back. I can't uh, backspace there. It just fucks up. Fucks it up. So tomorrow at five, we're gonna play more Bioshock Two. Once we're done with Bioshock Two, which might be tomorrow, we're gonna jump into the DLC called Minerva's Den, which I've never played. It looks super interesting. And then it's going to be Bioshock Infinite. Um, at 8 tomorrow, we are starting uh, Deep Space Nine on the Super Nintendo. Uh, some kind of weird adventure game platform hybrid. Feels weird, but it looks pretty nice. All the Star Trek games are really cool. Um, and yeah, so uh, for a little while that, that'll be that. Might be a short uh, game, so there's another Deep Space Nine game that we're gonna play after that called uh, Arbinger. I said Arbringer first, but it's, it's Arbinger. Deep Space Nine, Arbinger. That's very Nix. Thanks for watching everyone, have a great night, see you next time, ciao! Thank you for your cooperation, good night!